I'm going to test this tab. And as you hear, we got the message on Facebook. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can build your own AI chatbot directly on your Facebook page using only Zapier. If you have watched this video on my channel before, this is going to be a different approach where I'm also going to incorporate different features. So make sure to stay until the end of the video. All right, let's get started. So the first thing is that we are going to start with our trigger. I'm going to go and search for Facebook Messenger. And in the event section, you want to choose new message sent to page that is going to be triggering our workflow so i'm going to continue and right now you want to connect your facebook account with zapier it's super simple you are going to just sign up with your credentials and then you are also going to be able to choose which pages you want to connect by ticking the boxes right next to them i have already done that so i'm going to continue and in the trigger section under page you want to choose the facebook page that you have added to zapier as you can see here i have given zapier permission for two of my pages in this case we are going to be using pop-up slant i'm going to hit continue in this case, what you want to do is to send a test message as I have done already. So I'm going to test this trigger and we successfully found the message. Hi, can you tell me how much pop-up send approximately costs per month? Thanks. All right, so we know that it's recognizing the new messages that are going to come to our Facebook page. So we can continue with selected record. And in the first action after the trigger, I'm going to search for delay by Zapier. In this case, we don't want to reply immediately to the prospect because they might think that this is just some AI or some automated messages. So we want to make this as human-like as possible. So that's why I would highly recommend you to add this app over here. In the event section, you want to go and choose delay four. We are going to continue and in the time delayed for in this case let's just assume we would want to delay for 10 minutes and in the units i'm going to choose minutes and i'm going to continue and right now you can test this step we got the confirmation so we can right now continue to our second action all right in the second action we are going to be using zapier's app once again and in this case we're going to be using built-in app called ai by zapier so i'm going to search for ai by zapier in the event section you have many different options but you want to scroll down and choose this one called web page question and answer. This is going to allow us to scrape our website so we can train our chatbot to answer any questions that are going to come to our Facebook page. So I'm going to choose that one. We are going to continue. Here you simply are automatically going to be connected with Zapier and we are going to continue. And as the first step in the action, you want to specify the web page URLs that you want to scrape the data from and then let AI answer any questions that you are going to write later on. So as the first one, I'm going to add my homepage. I'm going to add the features page. Also, all the pop-ups and then lastly the page about carbon reduction and carbon offsets under the questions you want to write down questions that are specific for each page so in this case i wrote down what is pop-up slant how does pop-up slant work what are the features of pop-up slant and so on so in simple terms you want to write questions where you can find the answer on these urls that you have chosen all right so right now we can continue and right now we are going to test this trigger whether it's going to successfully scrape the data from our website so i'm going to test this step all right and after after a few seconds, we got the answer. The most important part over here is that you are going to have one variable called full answer over here. As you can see, this one is going to store the answers to all of your questions, but you also get different variables such as question number one, how does pop-up send work? And then you also get the first answer to this first question. It also repeated for each of the questions separately. But the most important thing here is that we're going to be using the full answer, which is basically going to act as our database for answering any questions that the prospects have. All right, so right now we can continue to our next action. In this case, I'm going to search for ChatGPT. We are going to be creating an AI filter that is going to decide whether AI by Zapier was able to answer the question or it was not able to answer the question. You want to go and choose the conversation as our event over here. Then we are going to continue. You want to go and connect ChatGPT with your Zapier account. I have a full tutorial how you can do that. It's super simple. You are simply going to use API key that you are going to generate on OpenAI. I'm going to link the video down below. And in this case, we're going to start writing our prompt. And for this, just to save time, I'm going to go inside my database where I store all my AI automations with all the prompts as well as the apps that we are going to be using. And in this case, we're trying to replicate the first one, which is the advanced Facebook page chatbot using only Zapier. We have all the apps. We are on the fourth one right now, which is ChatGPT. And then we also have the different actions using ChatGPT. I'm going to simply just copy 
the first prompt and I'm going to paste it inside the user message. So here you can see how the structure of the prompt looks like. It's a little bit different. So I would recommend you to go inside the first link in the description down below where you can get the totally free no junk resource that I put together teaching you the 3P framework for writing prompts directly inside Zapier. Firstly, we are setting up the context. You are a customer service agent named Thomas who works at Popups Land. You get questions from prospects and potential customers that you must categorize. Then I'm setting up another parameter over here, your database, including all information about Popups Land. And then inside the brackets, I want to go to AI by Zapier and we're going to find the variable called response full answer. I'm going to insert that one. As you remember, this is our database, which includes all the answers to all of our questions. The message to answer is going to be from our trigger. So I'm going to go inside my trigger and choose the message variable. And then I'm writing down a prompt generate. It can be answered if the message can be answered properly, only using the database, including all information about pop-up slant. Generate, it cannot be answered if the message cannot be answered properly, only using the database, including all the information information about pop-up sign. In the model section, I'm going to go and choose GPT-4. You can also use 3.5 Turbo for this because here we are just looking at text and dividing it into two different categories. One of the most important thing here is that you want to set up your memory key to keep the output consistent. I'm going to write down filter chatbot. You can write anything here. It can be numbers or characters. It doesn't really matter. And in the other settings, I'm going to keep it as they are. I'm going to continue. And then we are going to test this, whether it's going to successfully categorize our message. So I'm going to test this step and we got the confirmation. So let's actually check. We're going to scroll down and under the response in the content, we can see that it successfully categorized it as it cannot be answered. If you remember the message that we sent to the page was specifically asking about the pricing options and about how much pop up send actually costs. So in this case, on purpose, I didn't include that inside our AI by Zapier where we were putting the URLs and the questions to show you how this is going to work in practice. All right. So as our next action, we're going to be using something called path. You actually have it under the built in tools over here. So I'm going to choose that one. And right now we automatically got path A and path B. So I'm going to choose and click on the first one. And in the name option, I'm going to actually name this. It can be answered. I'm also going to rename this one and call it the filter. And then in the rules setup and testing, I'm going to go inside my filter and I'm going to go and choose the reply variable over here. And here we know that it's exactly generating two different options. It's generating either it can be answered or it cannot be answered. So we are going to choose text exactly matches. And in this case, I'm going to write down it can be answered and we're going to continue. And right now when we tested this action, you can see that your path would not have continued for this test data. That's because our message is about pricing and ChatGPT actually categorized this as it cannot be answered. So in this case, we know that this works properly and we can continue. And in this case, we want to use ChatGPT as our next action. I'm going to search for ChatGPT. I'm going to go and choose conversation. We want to send a prompt that is going to generate the answer to this inquiry that is going to come to our Facebook page. I'm going to continue. We have already connected our ChatGPT account so we can continue. And in this action, we we want to generate the response to the prospect when we know that we have the data to answer the question. And for this, just to save time once again, I'm going to copy the second prompt over here. And here, once again, if you want to know how to structure the prompts, go and check out the first link in the description down below. You can also get access to my AI automation database. Firstly, we are setting up context. You are a friendly customer service agent named Thomas who works at Popups Land. You get questions from prospects and potential customers that you must answer. The second parameter that we are setting up is the database. So in this case, once again, this is the same as previously. We are going to go inside our AI by Zapier and we're going to find the full answer variable and the message to be answered. We are going to go inside our trigger and we're going to find the message variable. Additionally, we are going to set up another parameter over here. It's going to be details and we are writing down the message must not be longer than 500 characters. We want to set up this details parameter because we want to avoid longer messages. And if I am going to be able to find the error, I'm going to place it over here. But if I remember correctly, it is 2000 characters of maximum that you can write. And then we are writing down our prompt, answer the message using the database, including all the information about pop-ups land. At the end of the message, always leave this link. And I actually put the demo link over here. You can replace this if you are going to just copy the prompt from my database. But I thought it would be always nice to generate a message that is always going to include link that is going to redirect the person to our website. So then we 
we can generate a lead, for example. And then ChatGPT is going to encourage them to get a totally free non-binding demo from one of our experts. In the model section, I'm going to go and choose GPT-4. And one of the most important thing here is the memory key once again. And in this case, we are not going to write down the memory key by hand, but we are going to go inside our trigger over here. And we are going to use the special ID that is specific for each user. So in this case, I'm going to choose the sender PSID. And memory key is great because it's basically allowing you to remember all the prior chats within the same conversation. So here, what we are doing is that we are are setting up different conversations for different Facebook users, the answers are going to be consistent and getting even better. And then the other settings over here, I'm just going to keep them on the default options. I'm going to continue and we are going to test this step and we're going to see whether it's going to generate our message for the user. All right, we got the green check mark. We are going to scroll down and under the response content, we are right now in the path where we are answering everything else other than pricing because that has not been included inside our AI by Zapier. So in this case, we just know that the message is being generated correctly. And that is all we need to know. Because if the answer for the question that the prospect had, is going to be found in our database that we specified, we are going to successfully generate answer here. All right, and as the last action in this specific path, we want to send this message to our user. So I'm going to search for a Facebook Messenger. And here I'm going to choose event send message from page. I'm going to continue. We have already connected our Messenger. So I'm going to continue. And then in the page section, you want to specify the page. Page. I'm going to go with pop-up slant. In the recipient ID, what you want to do is to go to trigger and then go and search for the sender PSID and insert that one over here. And then in the text, we have generated the answer to the question with ChatGPT. So we can go inside our conversation with ChatGPT, scroll down and find the reply variable. I'm going to add that there, we can continue. And right now you can test this action. So you can test this, whether it's going to be sent out to your user. All right, so right now we are going to go into our second path, which is actually the one where we are going to be able to answer the question properly because we are asking about the pricing options. And this is something that we have not included in our database. We can right now set up the path that is actually not going to be answering the question, but it's going to let us know and notify us that someone sent a message that the AI was not able to answer. So once again, to stay organized, we are going to name this one. So I'm going to say it cannot be answered this time. And I'm going to go to rules and settings. We are going to go inside our filter and we are going to go and find the reply variable and we only want to continue if the text is exactly matching it cannot be answered and right now i'm going to test this and what i'm expecting is to get a green confirmation i'm going to continue and yeah it worked so here you can see that your path would have continued for this test data and it's because we have used the chat gpt filter that is right now saying it cannot be answered this is because we just simply cannot answer the question because we did not include the pricing options inside our database so right now i'm going to to continue and right now we are going to set up our next action in this case this is optional but i'm going to choose chat gpt because we want to save as much time as possible i'm going to use conversation i'm going to continue we have already connected our chat gpt account so we can continue and in this case we are going to write our prompt that is going to generate a short email that is going to be automatically sent to us requiring us to manually answer this question so once again i'm going to go inside my database and i'm going to copy the last prompt for chat gpt and i'm I'm going to paste the prompt over here. So I'm firstly setting up context. You have categorized the Facebook message from a potential prospect as it cannot be answered by AI. And then I'm setting up the second parameter called details. The email should be under 150 characters. Only write down the email body, not the subject. Don't write any text before or after the email. And then I'm writing down the prompt. Create an email notifying the owner of the Facebook page that a new prospect and potential customer cannot be answered by AI and that a manual message needs to be sent out by the owner of the page. In this case, I'm going to once again choose GPT-4. Once again, very important thing is to set up your memory key because in this case, you want to keep the output and structure of the emails consistent. ChatGPT is going to remember them within one conversation. So if you like the output, you are always going to get the same structure and the same email. So I'm writing down Facebook Messenger page email and the other settings. Once again, I'm going to leave them on default. Go and check out my other videos where I go more in depth into them. I'm going to continue. 
and right now we are going to test this step we got the green confirmation so i'm going to scroll down and yeah it works so under the response in content we have a quick email over here saying hi a new prospect sent a message on your facebook page that ai cannot respond to please send a manual reply when possible right now we want to go and add our last action over here and in this pad you have many different options if ai was not able to answer this question you can be notified via slack teams or email so in this case i'm going to show you the last one for this we don't have to use gmail we can actually use a built-in app once again and this one is called email by zapier we're going to choose our event which is send outbound email we're going to continue and under the action the first thing you want to specify the email where you want to receive the notification so i'm going to use my email over here in the subject you can just manually write your subject how you want the notification to look like so i'm going to write down facebook page message to be answered i'm also going to rename this one to drafting the email notification and in the body you have used chat gpt to generate the email technically you could skip that part and just write your static email over here that is always going to be sent out but we are going to go inside our email and we are going to find the reply over here and then i thought to make it way more simpler to just go and visit the facebook page manager i'm just going to add another sentence that is always going to be shown in all the emails so i'm going to write down link to the conversation and here i'm going to put the url that is going to basically take me directly to my facebook page manager where i can answer the message as you can see you can go to your meta business suite and when you're logged inside your facebook page you can go and click on inbox i'm just going to copy this url over here so i can always be redirected here to see all of my messages that i have to respond to all right and then all the other settings you actually don't have to fill out for this purpose and we can go and continue and right now we are going to actually test this whether it works remember this one should work because the original message was asking about the pricing options and as you remember the database does not store this information because it's not available on our website and so for this case we should successfully go through this path and be notified via email so i'm going to test this step and we got a confirmation and outbound email was sent about one second ago and yeah it worked we got the email over here we got the subject line facebook page message to be answered and as you can see we got the email successfully hi a new prospect sent a message on your facebook page that ai can't respond to please send a manual reply when possible i also got the link over here that is going to redirect me to my page messenger where i can easily respond to the message all right so the last step is to actually go and name your zap so i'm going to name it advanced facebook page chatbot and then as you can see here we still cannot publish this and that is because we have to fix one small thing as you can see here in the status if you click on that one you have this yellow triangle and you can see that the sent message from page was not tested so we can actually go and say skip test and just like that as you can see here it's right now fixed but just to show you that this actually works and it sends out the message to the prospect on Facebook I'm going to test this tab and as you hear it, we got the message on Facebook. And as you can see, the connection works because ChatGPT tried to answer the question in this specific path. And it also included the URL link to book the demo on our website. You are right now good to go and publish this app over here. Now, remember writing the prompts inside Zapier is a little bit different. So I highly recommend you to go in the first link in the description down below, get my totally free no junk resource, where I show you the 3P framework that you can use to generate prompts directly inside your ChatGPT blocks when using Zapier. You are also going to find this database over here that I update on a regular basis where I store all my AI automations with everything that you need to set up your AI apps. All right, if you enjoyed this video or if you learned anything new, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed watching this video, I believe you're also going to enjoy this video over here that you can see right now on your screen. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.